Ashton in the fall is accused of killing Devon Pickett Jr., a man that he had known since they were kids. And tonight we've learned how police linked him to multiple shootings in the days leading up to Pickett's murder. You see me? You used to call me mom. Devon Pickett Jr.'s family overcome with emotion and grief. Facing the man accused of killing a beloved leader for the first time. My baby was my everything. <laughs> I was my firstborn child, my only son. They say Ashton LaFall was a childhood friend. He stole my baby. He took him. I used to have that boy at my house. I fed him. He called me mom. <laughs> Court documents say LaFall was harassing Pickett's family. Pickett even filed a police report over it in September after the fall showed up at his business, the postman. Pickett's family says he showed up again Wednesday. The day he took my son's life, he came in prior to that in a ski mask a few hours before he took my son's life. So I believe he was somewhere waiting and watching. Court documents now link LaFall to three other shootings, all happening in a span of three days. On October 17th, LaFall is accused of robbing a Columbia City business owner off Rainier Avenue South and shooting him in the chest and taking his ATM card. The victim remains in critical condition. Later that same evening, police say LaFall shot at a car while driving south on Aurora Avenue near Ray Street. The bullet went through the victim's car and hit him in the leg. The next day, court documents say LaFall shot at another driver on Rainier Avenue South. The bullet went through the driver's window with her three kids in the car. Then on October 19th, the same day Pickett was killed, one of LaFall's family members called police to report he was suffering from a psychotic episode and may be traveling around Seattle shooting people. After that call, police went through its records and found a crash involving LaFall from September. Police were then able to link his car to the suspect vehicle in the previous shootings. And at 6.30, October 19th, police say he shot and killed Devon Pickett Jr. outside his business, leaving a family and community broken. He took him from us. I'll never get to see my baby again. One more time. One more time and that's all I got. And we spoke to one of the shooting victims tonight who was too afraid to go on camera but says he's glad LaFall is behind bars. Prosecutors say LaFall is incredibly dangerous and should be held without bail and the judge agreed. We're expecting to learn more about his next court appearance on Monday. Back to you.